Keeper security can really improve your cyber security. In this video, you can watch over my shoulder and see how I use Keeper security, how it's installed and how it's configured. You can really see the power of the Keeper security platform. But before we start, my name is Jonathan Edwards and I'm a business IT consultant from Yorkshire in the UK. We help businesses with their IT support and the cyber security. On my YouTube channel, I talk a lot about cyber security. And one of the most important tools that I use is a product called Keeper Security. Keeper Security can increase your protection against cybercrime as an individual, as a family, and as a business owner. We all rely on lots of different passwords to log into our cloud applications. We've got our online shopping, we've got our social media, we've got our banking, we've got our work email. We've really got dozens, if not hundreds of passwords to remember. But as humans, we always take the easy route. We choose the same easy to remember password and we reuse those passwords against all of our cloud applications. That means if a cyber criminal gets one of our passwords, they'll have the passwords for everything. So we become sitting ducks. Cybercrime is an industry that is worth billions. And one of the main reasons for this is poor password security. So the answer to that is using a product like Keeper Security. Keeper Security is much more than a password manager. What we need to aim to have is a unique and complex password for each of our cloud applications. And then on top of that, wherever possible, to apply two-factor authentication. So you're gonna learn all about that in today's video. So let's get started. Firstly, I'm gonna assume that you've already got your Keeper Security license, whether you're doing the free trial or you've actually bought a license. When you have done, head over to keepersecurity.com and click on download, see all downloads. There are three applications that we need to download to get started with Keeper Security. The first one is the desktop app. This is installed on your computer, whether that's an Apple Mac or a Windows device. The second one is the Keeper Fill. Now this is a, a browser extension that works on all of the modern browsers. You can see here that it's already detected that I use Edge. And the third app you need is actually the mobile app. I highly recommend that you install the app on your smartphone. This means wherever you are, your phone is with you, you've got access to all your applications via the Keeper app. Now I've already installed these applications, so I'm ready to go. So if you've not, get them all installed, pause the video, and then we'll get on to the next bit of the configuration. So once everything's installed, you can go ahead and launch the Keeper desktop app. So there's my email address and it's asking me to enter my master password, which I will have created during the initial setup. You then click on login and it takes you into your vault. Now I've loaded a few passwords in here already, but the first thing you need to do, and I highly recommend this, is you configure two-factor authentication on your Keeper account. So as you can see, we log into Keeper using a master password. As soon as we're inside of Keeper, all of our passwords are there. So we must protect our master password with two-factor authentication. So how do you do that? To do that, we'll just go to our email address, click on the drop-down, and click on settings. We then choose the security tab, and then we choose two-factor authentication. So we've now got a few options. The first one is you can enter your phone number so you can get a text message when 2FA is required. The next option is Google or Microsoft Authenticator. Now this is the option that I would recommend. These are both free apps that you can install on your mobile phone. So go ahead and install either the Google Authenticator or the Microsoft Authenticator. And then toggle this to the right and then click on next. The next thing you do is open your authenticator tool on your phone and you want to add an account. You then want to scan the QR code. So the QR code is on the screen and you just simply point your phone at the screen and it should detect the QR code. What it then should give you is a, is a code that you enter in 
and then you click on next. So with Keeper Security, what you will now get is a list of codes. This is if you ever lose your 2FA codes or you've not got them with you, you can still log in. So I would urge you now to write down these codes, put them in a safe place. This is just a bit of a backup. You then click on, I have wrote these codes down and 2FA is now enabled on your account. So we'll just minimize the vault and we'll go to our browser extension, which is here. And we want to log in to the browser extension. Now, as you can see, it's now asking for the two factor authentication that we set up in the previous step. So we can add this and then we've got an option. It's saying, do you want to require a code every time you log in to the browser on this computer? So we can select every 30 days, save code on this device forever, or require it at every login. I like to choose the happy medium here. So I choose enter a code every 30 days. That gives me a little bit of protection. And then we can enter the master password. Now we've logged into the browser, you can see that we've got a lot of options. The browser extension is the tool that we use most of the time, but there's one setting that I like to change. There's a setting called stay logged in. Now, if you close your browser and I'll, I'll show you how that will work now, and then I open it again, it's logged me out of Keeper. So what I've got to do, I've got to log back in. Now I understand this is a security setting, but it's a little bit inconvenient that you have to log in multiple times during the day. So what I do, I go down to settings and the stay logged in, I enable it. Now it's gonna give me a, a warning saying, we recommend that you turn it off in case you walk away, but I enable that. So it's gonna keep me logged in. So that means if I close my browser, I reopen it again, you can see with the green dot, I'm still logged in. So this is convenient. There's an extra setting that you might want to consider setting. So you go to settings, there's a log out timer. So at the moment it will log you out of Keeper automatically every 60 minutes. So if you step away from your desk, you don't lock your computer, Keeper will log you out. So how far you want to take that, how security conscious you are, it's up to you. I stay logged in and I don't have the log, log out timer on, but again, it's up to you. So the next thing we want to do is we want to load all of our passwords into Keeper Security. So there's a few ways you can do that. You've got the desktop app, which you can open there, or you can go to the extension and you can click on Data Vault. And you'll see that the Data Vault is just an online version of the desktop app. So you can use either. To get your passwords in, what you would do, you, there's a couple of ways you can do it, but you create new, you create record, and then you can type in what it is. So I could put Twitter. It's already seen that Twitter is recognizable. So click on next. It's filled the website address in there, look. So I will put my username for Twitter into here. And I'll also put my password for Twitter in there as well. I will then click on save. You can see that Twitter is there. So all I can do is click on launch and it'll take me to the Twitter page. Now you can see here it says sign in. Now when I click on sign in, I'm gonna take my hand off my mouse and my keyboard. I'm not gonna do anything else and watch what happens. So click on sign in. What it has done, it is auto filled in my login details. It is logged in using my username and password without me doing anything. So using Keep Security, it really helps you log into applications faster. You don't have to think, what's my username, what's my password? Keeper Security becomes your password brain. So that feature, if we go to the extension and go to settings, that is called auto submit and you can see it's green there and it's switched on. So that's a really useful feature of Keeper Security. It auto logs you in to applications. So that's Twitter. Let's look at another example. Maybe LinkedIn is a good idea. So let's go to LinkedIn. Just close that, click on sign in. Is. All right, we'll just enter the details here. And I'm going to enter my password. Now, can you see this little keeper lock here? So if I click on there, it's saying there's no records in your vault that matches this website. 
So simply what I can do, I can create new. So I can do everything on the fly. I can put LinkedIn here. There's my username. If I click on there, it'll show me password. Um, we'll click on autofill, we like that. And we can just click the plus sign and then that will sign us in. But then if we go back to the Keeper Vault, you can see that it's added LinkedIn to my vault. So there's two ways you can do it. You can do it with the manual through the vault, or you can do it on the fly as you're logging in to web pages. Now, the next thing I'd like to show you is how that you can use Keeper Security to create your secure passwords. So I've just logged into LinkedIn and it's a password that I reuse quite a lot and I'm not happy with the security of it. So I want Keeper Security to help me out a little bit here. So within LinkedIn, I can go to here and I can go to settings and privacy. I can then go to sign in and security and we can see that my password, I've not changed since the 1st of June, 2019. So it's not far, I've been three years old. So I want to change this. Now, as soon as I've gone onto this change password screen, Keeper has popped up in the right hand corner and it said, would you like Keeper to help you change your password? Yes, I would. So I click on yes. So the first thing I need to do is it's telling me to go to my current password and click on the lock. So I do that and it puts in my LinkedIn password. Now it's asking me to go into the new password form. So if I click on the eyeball here, it's telling me it's created this password for me. So this is a new password. It's different from the old one. If I'm not happy with it, I can just shake the dice and I can get another one. I'm quite happy with that. So I just simply click on there and it'll fill it in there. I click on there and it'll fill it in there. Now it's saying, save it back to your vault. So yes, we do. And we click on save on LinkedIn. So that is an example how Keeper Security can help you change the passwords on all your websites to something that's random and secure. I've just changed my password on my LinkedIn. It was very straightforward. Now you might remember at the outset of this video, I said you needed to choose something unique and secure for each of your cloud applications. But wherever possible, you should use two-factor authentication. Well, Keeper can help you do that as well. So let's just stay with the LinkedIn example. I'm back to the login page of LinkedIn and I click on sign on. I then can simply click on here and it's found a record. So I can just fill in the record and LinkedIn will sign me in. I want to enable two-factor authentication for LinkedIn. So I go again to here, I go to settings and privacy. I go to sign in and security and you can see there's two-step verification at the bottom, which is switched off. Now I want to activate this. So I go down to here and I want to turn it on. Now what I'm gonna use is my authenticator app. So I click on continue. My password then was entered automatically via Keeper. I didn't press anything. It's now come up with the QR code. So what I need to do now, I need to go to my desktop vault. I need to go to LinkedIn and I need to go to edit. And down here, can you see it says two factor authentication? So we add that and then it says at the top QR code. So I click scan. What happens is the little window comes up like this and I can drag it wherever I want. So I'm going to minimize my screen, my vault, and that will stay there. So all I do now is hover that over the QR code and it finds it straight away. So I go back to my desktop app and look here, the digits are in there with the little timer. So I click on the eyeball, it gives me 158317. I click on continue and two-step authentication is now enabled on LinkedIn using Keeper Security. So I'm gonna click on save and it might be worth just going through the LinkedIn example right from the off. So click on sign out. Okay, I'm coming to LinkedIn. I click on sign in. I click on my little lock. It fills in, I can click on fill record. It's now asking for a code. I simply go to my Keeper Security, click on my eyeball 095589. Click on submit. I've got two factor authentication on LinkedIn and it's all managed through Keeper Security. 
So what I recommend you do is you start using Keeper Security. You add usernames and passwords as you log into them on, on your computer. Keeper Security makes it really easy because it, it pops up and it says, this isn't in the vault, shall we remember it for you? So go through a few days, a few weeks of adding all your passwords into Keeper Security. Once you've done that, there's a couple of nice little features in Keeper Security that I'm going to show you now. The first one is we can go down to Security Audit. Now you can see on here, it's telling me all my usernames and passwords that I've got in the vault. It's also telling me the strength of these passwords and when I last changed them. So I can see this top one, it was last changed five months ago and it's not very strong. So what I can do then is using the tools I've shown you earlier in the video, I can go and change these passwords. So all the strength of these passwords should be green. There's another feature here, which is called reused. So on these applications, I'm reusing the same password. Now remember what we said, you should use unique passwords. So again, I can go through all these and I can create unique passwords. So what I want to end up with is green password strengths, no reused and certainly no weak. At the moment, I haven't got any weak. So again, within Keeper, it's a really good tool to give you an overview of all your passwords. The next thing is Breach Watch. Now what Keeper does, it monitors the dark web. So if an application online gets hacked and your username and password is leaked on the dark web, it means that criminals can buy it and then they can log into applications as you. So what Breach Watch does, it constantly monitors the dark web. And if there's any signs of hacks or your user credentials are available on the dark web, it alerts you in here. So I can see I've got three at-risk accounts. So what I need to do is go into these, either ignore it or more to the point, change the password. I hope that's giving you a really good overview of Keeper Security. You need strong, unique passwords and 2FA wherever possible. And Keeper Security enables you to do just that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you again soon.